G'day there and welcome. I'm Graham Anderson, Program Manager Climate Change at Agriculture Victoria. As more attention is being paid to the carbon and emissions performance of our food and agricultural industries, and also on our farms, Agriculture Victoria is providing the tools and resources to support farmers to start their emissions reduction journey. To help the sector reduce its emissions, the Agriculture Sector Emissions Reduction Pledge was announced back in 2021 to accelerate the agriculture sector's response to a changing climate by investing in the first Victorian Agriculture and Climate Change Statement, a shared vision across industry and the Victorian Government, which was informed by extensive consultation across the agriculture sector, facilitated by the Victorian Agriculture and Climate Change Council. New research trials in pasture-based grazing systems to test promising methane inhibiting feed additives. And these are already showing encouraging results for use on Victorian dairy and livestock farms. And new web tools to support farmers to help them plan and prepare for future climate change scenarios and the On-Farm Emissions Action Plan Pilot. The On-Farm Emissions Action Plan Pilot will work with up to 250 farm businesses right across the state to estimate their on-farm emissions profile and identify potential actions to manage and reduce emissions while we're still maintaining productivity and profitability. I'm Lucy Etheridge. You're here at Yarrawalla in Gruya in the Yarra Valley. We're a 500 acre mixed farming business, family run farm. Uh, we run beef cattle, wine grapes, sheep and accommodation. The focus of the pilot is on action at the farm business level and aims to build the emissions understanding and confidence of participating farmers so they are empowered to make decisions around carbon and emissions for their own farms. The pilot helps farm businesses understand their own emissions profile and be better placed to take control and consider their options to lower emissions, both now and into the longer term. There's been a lot of what you're already doing is great. And, and for me, that's been a really, a really lovely pat on the back and makes you realise that you've already got street cred to be using in industry. And I think more and more where those who are buying our produce off farm, whether that's our wine grapes, our beef, our sheep, um, are all looking to see that we have those credentials around environmental sustainability. Uh, and for us, this is a way of helping to tick that box for playing in the market. A farm emission specialist works with each farm participant to interpret emissions and carbon data, and then discuss potential actions tailored to each farm. Pilot participants receive an estimate of their emissions number that will help them develop an action plan for their property. So for us working with someone else who can help to crunch the numbers on ways we've already been reducing emissions through things like our tree planting programs, but also assisting us to look further into things like our breed lines and genetics on farm. Um, we've always been looking at ways to turn off animals faster on farm so they're, you know, we're reducing emissions that way. We're looking at smaller frames in our bulls um, and calving ease and also growth rates. So things like that, this program's really helped us drill down a little bit further to, to see where we can make improvements. As we learn from the participating farms involved in the pilot, we'll be sharing these new insights with industries, stakeholders, researchers and policy makers, highlighting what will be needed in our efforts to tackle the emissions challenge at the farm level over the coming decades. We know that farmers adopt and deploy low emissions innovations that are accessible, available and affordable. And the farmers participating in this pilot will be a really important litmus test on what solutions are ready to be applied today. Many farmers across Victoria are already making great efficiency improvements helped by new technologies, practices and skills. Many have also increased the carbon stored on their farms through trees and soils and are actively improving their properties to adapt to a changing climate. I'd say get on board, 100%. It's a, for me it's a no-brainer when you've got someone else um, offering to pitch in and help and they guide you through all the questions, they help you find the data. You've got the data already there, it's just pulling it all together to be in the right spot to be crunched by someone else, which is great. So when you're time poor and resource poor, often like we are on farm, um, to me that's a really, a really useful thing to have someone else work alongside you. So 100% give it a whirl. 
The three-year pilot will be delivered over nine rounds, covering Victoria's key agriculture industries. Agriculture Victoria will organise regular opportunities to share information and insights from the pilot with the wider agriculture sector, including with farmers and professionals in the broader farm advisory sector. Lessons from the pilot, including case studies, will be published as they become available. To learn more about the On-Farm Emissions Action Plan pilot, visit our website at agriculture.vic.gov.au forward slash emissions pilot and more resources on farming, carbon and emissions can be found at our website forward slash climate. Now we all eat food, so it's a team effort on how we can work together to reduce emissions in agriculture.